what are the causes of empty follicle syndrome? First is insufficient ovarian stimulation. If the ovaries aren't stimulated enough during IVF, mature eggs won't develop in the follicles. Second is gonadotrophin use. In some cases, using only recombinant FSH for stimulation may result in a higher empty follicles syndrome rate, potentially conceiving, concealing a type 1 ovulation disorder. Number three, long-term oral contraceptive use and starting ovarian stimulation immediately after stopping the oral contraceptive pill can also increase the risk of empty follicle syndrome. Early luteinization, in fact, higher LH levels or early LH surge or premature LH surge caused by LH release has been associated with empty follicle syndrome. Next is dysfunctional hypothalamic pituitary ovarian axis, which is disrupted again in PCOS and cases of type 1 cases. When you come to ovulation trigger, HCG and analog trigger both have a failure rate between 1 and 3%. And trigger failure is more common in women with a very low BMI or a high BMI. Oocyte maturation arrest, genetic or metabolic disorders can cause oocytes to stop developing and this could be leading to EFS. Then you come to technical difficulties such as during a collection, not having adequate pressure, improper follicle aspiration and these all could lead to EFS. Timing of follicle aspiration, aspirating follicles too early or too late, either 34 hours or 38 hours, and that window you can see empty follicle syndrome. Problem with outside zona pellucida, either structurally or functionally, and these are less common to happen, and this does not allow for fertilization. In some cases, the underlying cause of empty follicle syndrome remains unknown, idiopathic EFS. What is known is women with a very low AMH or with a high FSH have a higher incidence of empty follicle syndrome. Thank you.